Now let's talk a little bit of uh, different techniques that you can design uh, the landscape using them. Uh, so I have introduced 10 approaches to landscape design here. The first one is going with material change. You can show the pathways. Uh, you can define a more semi-private area in comparison to more public area in the landscape. And you can do this by split surface as we talked about in the last video. The second approach is using different patterns and again you need to use a split surface along with changing the materials of different split, split parts. The third approach is extruding edges or going with a different material for the edges. Fourth approach is using water uh, in different formats Fifth approach is using different levels. Uh, you can go with stairs with like uh, a little bit steps in here, or you can go with a curved surface that goes aligned with the topography, such as that one. Another approach is adding some sculptures to the landscape, to the site. Another approach is using different ways to create somehow some shadings. The shading could also be a sculpture. Uh, another way is to create some private or semi-private areas in the landscape uh, using different colors, especially if you are designing a space for the children. Uh, you can also go with different colors for the plants and vegetation and the flowers. And finally, going with different arrangements by uh, changing the location of the plants. You can have the plants on the two sides and then the path in between. You can have the plants at the middle, uh, such as this one or that one. Okay, so let's see. Let's say uh, we want to connect uh, some part of this surface to this surface and we want to go with a different material here. Uh, so just like before, you can go with the massing and side options and uh, with the split surface. It's usually easier if you go with, uh, if you take care of the split surface in a 2D view. Uh, make sure here, if you remember, we have two topographies. One of them is showing us the existing topography. The other one is showing us the new topography. And the difference between them give us the net cut fill. So what I want to do is that I want to make sure that I'm not selecting the existing topography when splitting the surface. So uh, let me hide this for one second, HH. Okay, oh, okay, that's good because this is uncompleted. The phasing is on show complete, so this is actually the new the new surface. So that's all good. Let's go to split surface, click once on the surface, and it's telling us to go to a different view. Yeah, we can go to the side view and split surface, click once here. Uh okay, how about I use some curve in here and some curve in here. Or I could offset the first one. Uh, I can offset that by, by about uh, 4 meters over there and we can go with a line over there. Oh, this is still offsetting, okay. Um, we're going to see if it shows us any errors if we exactly select the surface of that building pad. Uh, make sure you do not overlap the lines 
where you have split the surfaces. It doesn't work like that. So we keep a little bit distance between this split surface and the, uh, the new split surface. Make sure to trim the edges so you have one closed loop. Okay, there are no errors. Let's see it on the other side. It's not that bad. Something like that. And uh, you can change the material. Uh, we can go with some wood patterns or something here. I guess it's uh, stop working. Okay, uh, how about we go with one of these? Or if you don't like any of them, you can uh, go create a new material. There are more wood options. I want to rename it as wood. I'm going to find a dark wood pattern. Let's go to the asset browser, type wood in here. You see, there are more wood options showing here. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, how about cherry? It's a little bit slow. Okay, and I'm going to close this. If I go to appearance, I'm not sure if it assigned cherry to that. So let's try again. I'm going to type wood. Double click here. And close this. Should be okay. I'm gonna change the color to a different color. Okay. It actually did not change that. Let me see. Okay. Okay, now it's better. So we have a surface over there uh, connecting the billing pad uh, to the street. You can go with di very different ideas. Uh, you can split the surface again and again to create very different patterns for your landscape design using the approaches that we talked about. I'm going to show you another trick here. Maybe I'll go with something like this. All right, so let's say this is a different, uh, we have a different type of vegetation over there. I can uh, change the material here. I can go with a different grass. I need to create. I'm gonna right click here and go with grass 2. Go to the asset browser, type grass. I should uh, click the site work. We have a lot of grass in here. One of these. And I want to change the graphics here as well. Okay. So you can keep doing that till uh, you have a good design. Maybe you can use uh, your sketchpad first. And uh, I guess you already know, but if you are looking for site components, you can go to the massing site, site component, and you can load different families. If you go to uh, entourage folder, you can bring some people here. Okay, and you can change the guy, uh, Lisa, maybe. Okay. okay, you can bring some uh, male figures as well. Uh, so that's all under a folder named Entourage. Also, you can find 
some plants under planting. And although I only clicked on uh, one item, it brings the whole family here that you can choose from. Okay, and uh, you, can, you can keep working on that. Uh, you can split some surface and assign a material of water and uh, create an edge around it and extrude that edge to kind of simulate uh, the surface around the water.